Scorpio, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Scorpio, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I'll use oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Universe is telling you right now that there is a major decision that is going to take place in your life that's going to bring abundance in your life. But right now, the decision needs to be decisive, right? You cannot be wobbly. And in order for you to be decisive, it's very simple. The formula is alignment first, action second. When you follow this formula, your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration and your dominant vibration is your world. If you conquer that dominant vibration, you will be able to conquer your world and that's what the universe wants right now. So Scorpio, look at this from this perspective. My dominant vibration is always, I look at things from a 10-year perspective. I visualize myself and I give myself a blueprint. I give my subconscious, the universe, a blueprint of what I'm looking for. I visualize myself 10 years from now making $10 million a, uh, $10 million a month day trading, right? That's it. So now everyone, including my subconscious, has a blueprint of what we're looking for. Every action step I take, every thought I take, whether I know it or not, gets me to my goals, right? And that's what this universe is telling you. Really, you know, uh, a mouse spirit, tend to the small things. L Martin Luther King said it best. Focus on the next step and not the staircase. This is what you can do. First step is ask yourself, where is you, where you want to be 20 years from now, right? What do you want to be? Do you want to have kids? How many kids? Do you want to be with your soulmate? Is this person tall or short? Do you want to be, do you want to have, make millions of dollars? Great. Do you want to work for a company or work for yourself? Have a vision of the future. Feel, attach your emotion to that expectation. And now you are giving the universe a blueprint of what to get you and the universe 100% delivers every single time. But you got to remember your thoughts create your, your thoughts create and your emotions confirm. So unless you feel it, it's not going to happen. Like for example, I visualize myself making 10 mil a month day trading, but I feel as if it's happening. I'm not telling myself, oh, I wish one day. No, no. I, I visualize, wow. I feel it. Wow, doing it feels so good, right? I pretend it's happening, right? Not because I have extra time on my hands, but or because it's cute, because it actually works, guys, right? So right now, the universe is telling you, go on your journey. Stop focusing on things that are real. No one cares. Placebo effect is definitive proof how the universe can care less if something is real. In order for you to get what you're looking for, you need to have the infallible guide, the yellow brick road laid out. Remember, you are a magnet, so attract wisely. Whether or not you like it or not, or consciously or subconsciously you participate, you will, you have been and always 100% will be a magnet for the rest of your life. Now, you can't turn that switch on and off, but guess what? You can control what you attract. If you want to attract abundance, you can control it with your ideas, thoughts, and feelings. You want to attract scarcity, which you don't, you can control it, but you got to understand, scarcity goes where fear goes. So if you have a fear of failure, fear of rejection, scarcity is two seconds away from that. You want nothing to do with this energy and you don't have to have anything to do with this energy. So the universe is telling you right now, lighten the load, right? Dream, make your dreams into reality. That's where visualizing comes from. That's where manifesting comes from. That's where daydreaming comes from, right? And remember like abundance flows where appreciation goes. So all you have to do is be appreciative and grateful and abundance will flow to it every single time. Remember, treat abundance like a person. I'll give you an example. If you wanted to date someone named Abundance and they were very attracted to appreciation, what would you have to do? How would you woo and impress them? All you have to do is be appreciative, right? Because that they find that attractive. So I'd go around saying, wow, I'm appreciative for my job, I'm appreciative for my car, I'm appreciative for the sun, I'm appreciative for the moon, I'm appreciative for the color black, I'm appreciative for the color white. It doesn't matter. I'm appreciative for everything, right? Because I know abundance likes that. That's exactly here. The universe likes someone grateful, thankful, and excited. All you have to do is be that person and you will get handsomely rewarded. Now, the universe is telling you that there is third parties here with that Three of Pentacles, with that Wheel of Fortune, that want to collaborate and network with you. And this is helping you, guiding you, mentoring you, teaching you how to make money, how to create wealth. And right now, the universe is telling you in order for this to happen, let go of the how and focus on the why, right? If you're waiting to create money, if you're waiting to get abundance, if you're waiting to meet your soulmate, don't focus on the how. How am I going to meet my soulmate? How am I going to get rich? Don't worry about that. Focus on the why, the how the universe takes care of. So I'll give you an example. Why do you want to meet your soulmate? 
why do you want to get rich, right? For example, you want to meet your soulmate to experience stuff. For example, there's a sunset. Would you rather look at the sunset solo? Or would you rather look at it with someone, right? Always with someone. You want to eat food solo, or eat it with someone. You want to watch a show solo or watch it with someone. So you want to experience stuff. That's your, that's your why. Now, why do you want to get rich? To have freedom. Freedom to say yes, sure, I'll fly first class. Freedom to say no, I'm not coming to work. That's why. So remember, there is always enough. Never settle. And right now, all you have to do is align your emotions, expectations, and your actions together. And now synergistically, it will happen. In order for all of this to happen, remember, all you have to do is focus on one thing. This will make your life so much effortless. Radiate the energy you want to attract radiate the energy you want to attract. So if you want to attract confidence, if you want to attract abundance, how does that feel? First and foremost, like for example, someone who's confident, how do they feel? They probably feel so, you know, uh, uh, aware, so, so happy, so uh, uh, protected, so safe, right? Feel how that feels first. So learn to radiate that energy and then it will naturally gravitate towards you. And right now the universe is telling you that by focusing your awareness on instilling these non-negotiable excellent habits, your life will become effortless in alignment first. So for example, like I know the things that get me alignment, get me grounded, get me flowing, put me in a state where I am in control is when I'm following a passion. For example, if your job is to go work in sales, I would go do sales, but then when I come home or early in the morning, even better, I would be focusing on a side hustle, something that would make me happy. Or if you're trying to attract your soulmate, rather than be like, oh man, I haven't met my soulmate yet, I would tell myself, you know what? I can't wait to go join play, uh, things like a yoga class somewhere or a spin class, somewhere where like-minded individuals are where I'm able to meet my soulmate. But by focusing on these things, instilling non-negotiable excellent habits, becoming the cause and effect, not waiting for anything to happen, but telling yourself, I am going to go make this happen. Neurons that fire together, wire together, right? Unlearning and relearning and really reprogramming your subconscious mind. Any one of these things, you don't need to do them all, but any single one of these things that is better than doing the same thing as yesterday and getting the same results is going to be the winning hand for you. And by getting in alignment first, mind, body, and soul, right? Ask yourself, what gets you in alignment? It's what feeds your soul. It's wisdom, knowledge, experience. It's with uh, uh, waking up early, eating good foods, getting enough sleep. Whatever the right thing is, right? Universe gave you instincts for a reason. You know what the right thing to do is? The right thing to do is not eat junk food. The right thing to do is not, you know, stay up too late. The right, right thing to do is not think negative. This is just common sense, right? You know this stuff. When you start doing these things, and when you just do one of these things, you're quickly gonna realize, whoa, the wind beneath my wings, the universe is, is, is handsomely rewarding you for it and making your life a whole lot easier. But it all takes one step. Because of free will, your angels can't do it for you. If you just take that first step, the universe will help you take that quantum leap. All right, Scorpio, now time to tap into your affirmation for today. I want you to write down the following affirmation in the comment section, attach a feeling and emotion to this, and then ignite it. Right now, write down the following words exactly as shown here in the comment section. I surrender all expectations. Beautiful message. Write this down in the comment section right now. I surrender all expectations. You're telling the universe, I am fully aware of this lesson. I don't need to learn this lesson anymore. Please bring me something new, which is abundance. I surrender all expectations. You are telling the universe, I am in love with the journey and on the process. I am not in love with the outcome or event. I surrender all expectations. Give this video a like, write this down in the comment section, let the universe know you're ready, and quantum entangle with this energy. All right, now let's tap into a final message from the universe for you. Final message from the universe. The message is those you love, love you. Look at that. Those you love, love you. The message is to be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tell who the universe, right? Right now, this means be your genuine, authentic self. Do you, right? Wear your hair the way you want. Wear your nails the way you want. Dress the way you want. Speak the way you want. Be yourself, right? Everyone loves someone who's unique. You are one in a trillion. You're more rare than a Picasso painting. Think about that. There's only one of you. And right now, everyone loves you when you are yourself. Anytime you're people-pleasing, something us empaths have to work on, anytime you're worried about what the next person says, whether it's cool or not, or whether it's acceptable, all that stuff just pushes you away from your inner being. And the more you're away from your inner being, the more scary life gets. But right now, by understanding that as long as you do you, as long as you have a sense of humor, you are you know, laughing, you're having a good time, you're silly, everyone wants to be around that. But the moment you get serious, that's when people run, right? So do you, Scorpio, and everyone wants to be around that energy. You'll be very likable, attractive, and approachable. 
All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.